Hey, it's Michael here from Edukits. We've just launched an exciting new web app called CodeKit. Now, if you're someone who uses Arduino to teach in the classroom, or if you use it as a hobbyist at home to build different inventions or projects, then this is a tool that will make your life so much easier. It's essentially drag and drop coding for Arduino that makes it easy for anyone to build Arduino projects. So I'm gonna show you how to access the app and some of the cool features that we've been working on over the past few months. To get to CodeKit, at the moment you head to the Edukits website at edukits.co, then you go under the product menu, the amazing Annoyatron, and click on CodeKit. Now this is the CodeKit application here. I'm very excited to show you what it does. Over here on the right, we've got the code section. This is where the Arduino code that will be generated by the app is going to appear. Now there are some helpful buttons up here, the copy code, which will copy the generated code to your clipboard. Then there's the download code button, which will download an INO file, which you can then open in the Arduino editor to then upload to your board. But let's jump right into the blocks. Under the input and output section, we've got different digital reading and writing, as well as analog reading and writing blocks. We've also got the built-in LEDs. You just uh, drag them from the left-hand side into the main white section. This is the workspace, and you'll see that the codes immediately appeared over here in the right pane. Now we can add things like delays, we can duplicate blocks, we can change them. And as you can see, we've gotten a basic program up here working. Now, if I wanted to upload this to my Arduino board, I could just click the copy code button and it will copy. I can also rename, rename this sketch and download it to make things even easier. This will create a file that will open directly in the Arduino application. I'm gonna call this quick test. Now, if I click download, you'll see that it's downloaded a zip folder. I'm gonna quickly unzip that. Now you can see that we've created a file that can now be opened in the Arduino application. And from that point onwards, it's really easy to upload. Now, we'd love it if you could try this app and let us know what you think. If you've got any problems getting things to work, we've got a support page which you can access just by clicking this little help icon up here. It's gonna take you to our contact page. We can fill in your details and put in any feature requests or possibly any problems you have and we'll try to get back to you. Stay tuned because we're gonna be releasing a standalone app for Windows and Macintosh, which will allow you to build build projects with the blocks, but then directly upload them to your Arduino board. We'd love for you to try out CodeKit and let us know what you think.